turn my back, you laughing. Hey, everybody. Coach, it is a sound like no other. When they raise that 12th man flag here in Seattle, we just heard it, and that means it's time for football at CenturyLink Field. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Detroit Lions and the Seattle Seahawks. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. Pushing tacklers aside. And a great return. Solid field position. He's up all the way to the 45-yard line. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their 5'11 quarterback from Wisconsin by way of NC State. And that's Russell Wilson. He's always been an incredible decision maker on the field. Takes care of the ball really well. Puts his team in the right positions. Makes sure the play calls are accurate. Also was a minor league baseball player. Very well there. I think he made a great career choice picking football. And that's not the start that he was looking for. As he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. From midfield now, here's Wilson. And he's got his target. That's more. <laughs> Still on his feet. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. The linebacker, Christian Jones, there to make the stop. And one of the big bodies helping out this offense is your boy, Upati. And all he wants to do is have running plays call, fire out, and smack people. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. The first carry for C.J. Prosciens. Able to push his way through. He's got the first down. Strike first here in this opening quarter. So they start this game just like they won. Opening drive, touchdown, a nice run there to finish it off. Yeah, that's what we call an explosive run because of the distance. And being able to do that, that puts a little uncertainty in the minds of your opponent. Jason Myers now for the extra point. This will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford is a big arm guy who's learned how to temper some of his throws. Actually has added a lot more touch and accuracy as his career has gone along. Big time confidence in his arm though. Any throw you want, he can make it. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25 yard line. A first carry for the converted wideout, J.D. McKissick. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. They'll run with the kicks. 
Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Now stick. You don't see that a ton, do you? With a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. 36 yards on the play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. 10 just outside the 30. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf, but it'll be second down. Second and 10 now, Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Rashawn Melvin that time able to make the play. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Wilson, incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And you're under a minute to go in the half. The first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's still make some plays. Here's Stick looking to throw. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. They will run it. It's McKissick. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Here in quarter number three. 
This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drive should deserve to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put the head on. Oh, Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up. Good plays, has a long move on first down. And 
they'll go backwards here. Losing yardage to the 14. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just the first. They've got two more to use in the final stages. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. Now Wilson. Blitz coming and down he goes. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And he was able to knock it through, and the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know this is, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And that drives coaches in six, doesn't it? When they say that happens, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? The pressure giving up yardage. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten at their own 44. Stick looking to throw on first and ten. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. The Lions have used the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. They're going to go play action down with Stick. A throw for Bowden and it's going to be intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pass. And a return stop just a few yards shot in midfield. They'll spot the ball at the line. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Oh, it sets it down now. It's Carson. here for Seattle, and this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Oh, the absolute tips just shot out, so it can't get much better than that, and right, the defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well, they put the ball up and down the field, so do you got like what you saw, what do they call that, the total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys on both sides will end up getting it. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on the AC Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.